you guys. Hit the bell down there for the notifications so you can be the first to see all of the new stuff coming in and out of our shop on a weekly basis. Hey everybody, welcome back. It's been a long overdue video and I am getting myself into some trouble here. Um, I am trying to move this 400 gallon fish tank. This is a, uh, let me turn this radio down. This is a DIY plywood tank. It is 77 inches long, uh, four foot deep, and I believe it's 34 inches tall. Uh, the tank itself, the stand is a lot, lot taller than that. Um, I'm attempting to move it from its current location where it sat this way over here to the wall. I was supposed to have some help this morning. I'm not sure if they've got something going on or what, um, but I can't wait. I got to get this thing moved. So I am trying to do use some leverage here with this awesome two by four and just kind of wedge this thing into place over there where I would like it to go. So. Uh, watch this time lapse of me struggling you guys. Oh, yeah, today is um, December 11th. I know I haven't done a video in a while you guys um, It's about 930 in the morning. So here you go. Enjoy All right guys in the process of my brainstorming I figured we can go old-school pyramid style <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna throw some metal conduit underneath this to see if I can't roll it into the direction that I need it in um, and see if this will help. The only problem is I don't know how I'm going to get this under there by myself, but stick around and see how this works out. guys as you can see I got it pretty much pushed oh, where I want it um, my back's gonna regret this tomorrow but actually I'll probably regret it in about an hour um, but I do have it pushed where I want it where I need it now we're gonna put the plumbing together for the sump that goes underneath of it and get all that put in there so we can get this thing pushed back against the wall where we would like it and up against the uh, tanks over here um, and hopefully we can get Bo, who is hanging out down here by himself, taking up an entire tank, not liking it. I'm trying to get this done as fast as I can so we can get him back out of there, back into here. Um, so here you go, guys. Stick around. Let's see if we can't get this put together and get everything moved around. this tank and the only thing I have is a two foot level so I'm going to do my best to get this tank level. Uh, my overflows are on the back right corner. I want it to be as level as possible but I wouldn't mind it being a little farther over to that side so we'll see how it goes.
pretty level. Right, guys i'm not going to bore you with all the boring stuff of actually filling the tank up but i do have the sump installed i do have all my controllers installed for my pumps and my heaters um i am running an fx6 on here so i do have that plumbed up over here on here now and i'm going to get all that buttoned up and tucked up and looking good over here um now i'm just going to go fill it up um, it's going to take probably another 20 minutes, a half an hour to fill this up, if not a little bit longer. Um, and then we will make sure the temperatures are where they need to be. And we will get Bo swapped over. And I'll keep the, and I'll, and I'll, and I'll show you guys how we're going to flop Bo over. Um, it's a quick process. I have to get in there quickly and get him out quickly and get him into the tank quickly. And he's going to be uh, one ticked off dude for the next. 24 hours but overall i think he's gonna like it over here better once we get all this corner over here cleared out 
Um, it'll give him a lot more view of everything in the shop rather than just the front door. So we're pretty pumped. So stick around, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop the time lapse here, and we'll pick back up once this thing is full. Thanks. All right, you guys. I am going to move Bo into this tank now. It's been up and running for close to, I would say, an hour and a half now. It's about 2 o'clock, so it's been cooking for a minute, one thirty, two o'clock. So, um, I didn't change any of the meat. I didn't do anything. Basically, what I did was like a 90% water change, so we should be able to move Bo right over. Um, the temp in this tank right now is at 79. The tank that he's coming out of is at 78. So, there is a, a 1 degree temperature difference, but that shouldn't be too much for us just to be able to flop him over. So, I'm going to go ahead and get that done really quick. Usually, I'll, usually I won't take Bo out of the water. I'll never take him out of the water. Um, sorry, guys, I'm bouncing you around. Um, I can't get a container in there to pick him up, so I'm just going to grab him with this net and all of his little buddies and move them whatever I catch all at one time and get him put in here. buddies moved over I just wanted to show you guys that we we're gonna move them from one tank to the other and um, we'll give you guys an update on this tank towards the end of the day and how much is cleared up and where we're at with it thanks